Here he comes, the champion. Up, up, up. Awesome. By the end of the 2007 season, Jimmy Johnson was dominating NASCAR after winning his second consecutive Sprint Cup championship. Despite that success, he says he never fully devoted himself to being in peak physical condition. What I was doing was working, you know, for, for where I wanted to be at that point, but to be the best and to stay on top. You know, I had to find a way to step it up. 11, 12. In December of that year, a friend introduced him to personal trainer John Sateris. He runs a gym in New York City, where Johnson owns an apartment. Ooh, ah, you crushed it. Got stronger there, buddy, huh? What I noticed about Jimmy from day one, Jimmy never trained to race. Jimmy trained to win. So when we did the training, he pushed past his limits. Squeeze up. Good. Awesome. I need one more from you. You can do this. Awesome. Johnson's home is in Charlotte, so one-on-one -on -one time with his trainer is rare. Typically, Johnson emails or faxes his training logs to Soteris in New York. His week includes at least 20 total miles of running, six days of abdominal work, and four days of weight training. Power, 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 he's pulling his body weight plus additional weight. I know a lot of bodybuilders who can't do what he's doing now. I have got some major boob cramp. It's not only running and, and lifting and things like that. You know, there's diet that's involved and hydration. The knowledge of when to eat things and what to eat. The carbs are important. The right sugars at the right time. Fats at the right time. I was doing it all wrong. So Tara stressed a complete lifestyle change. Johnson regularly gets eight hours of sleep, takes a time-release protein supplement before bed that carries him through to the next morning, and burritos and beers aren't quite so prevalent any longer. If he's drinking alcohol because he's out of celebration, uh, I'm texting him, well, just one drink, that's it. You can't do this because you're going to pay for it when you work out tomorrow. After a race on Monday, you know, want to drink some beer and play some golf and have some fun with friends. I mean, that just whammies me for two or three days. It impacts sleep. So have you stopped uh, doing it as much? Yeah, definitely cut way back. I want to really hang on to what I'm doing and the success I've had. Well done, champ. His waist size kept on shrinking and shrinking and shrinking where he lost inches where his pants started to fall. And then you see his face changed. It was rounder and now he looks like a completely different person. In two years, Johnson's body fat percentage has dropped from 20% to 8%. At 5 foot 11, 160 pounds, his strength and stamina have also improved. His grace, however, is another story. Holy! There it goes, you crushed it. <laughs> Mazel tov. Johnson's workout program ensures that on race day, he's rested and ready to go. I wake up with peak energy and I get in the car and I feel unstoppable. I knew he started to improve when after a race, he had enough energy and he wanted to do a five mile run. I see guys slumped over all over the place. The cars are a lot more physical to drive than they used to be. They don't handle well. You're on top of the steering wheel the entire race trying to control the car. Uh, and it's, it's raised the fitness level. When someone is neck and neck with him, he tells me about one one thousandth of a second that can separate everything. He's not chancing on one muscle that might be weaker because he didn't put all that he can into it. At the end of a race, that's when you need to be your strongest. The car could or could not be driving the best that it has, but that's when they're going to pass out the check and the trophy.